Hello and welcome to yet another very very interesting topic for the day. Interview question: Why have you secured less grades in your examination, or why you have scored less grades in your previous semester, or it can be any year of the academic's journey that you have travelled so far? So very tricky one, very dicey one, and many a times student falter. they are unable to explain the genuinity of what this question actually calls for and if students are unable to jot down and understand as to what is to be responded to this particular question they always make a mess and in case if you have less grades in your past academics then you are certain to receive or land to this particular question now idea is that not all students have excellent marks not all students fare good not all students show consistency in their academics so be it why not have a logical answer keep ready with yourself stating that you have faced one or the other problem and that's the reason it has made you to actually come down on your grades and grades are just milestones you may not get bad but you would certainly get good or visa versa you need to still protect your argument by stating what has actually happened with you and what was that ground because it's not for the heck of it that the questioner comes from the interviewer it is for the explanation that you have or for what has happened with you are you in conscious with what has happened and you are able to explain it out easily comfortably and convincingly so that the interviewer buys this question with you so a typical question why are your grades low in your past academics i think first let's let's try and understand as to why the question has been asked why are they asking for an explanation at all because it's your grade and you have gone through it and you might have some reasons as to why you have faltered in your academics but then still this is a question we need to answer let's try make an attempt with all the good and the bad answers that possibly illuminate all of us in better preparing countering this particular question in an interview because low grades have not disqualified you from in taking entry into so far right but certainly if you have not scored let's say 90 throughout then there is iim sikkim which clearly discards and put your application into the trash others may consider still but iim sikkim is one such which is way different from the other iims so the reason this question pops up in an interview so often is because your answer reveals far more about you than your grades ever could so now you have understood why it is not to do with your grades it is whether you have understood what has gone wrong whether it is you who knows about it and accepts it and maybe have a solution or an ideation or a reason behind which is which you can put it subtly across and convince the recruiter the interviewers are looking for a consciousness and hard working individuals who is serious about the opportunity they will get maybe an engineering college an iim or maybe when you are let's say upscaling yourself and going to uh, your post graduation degree or post graduation program anything of that sort even if they receive students receive low grade in the past they are overcoming whatever obstacles they are facing and that's the reason they are there to get interview or at least it won't be an impediment to studying further what holds them is not preparing or maybe inadequate preparing of the typical question as to what they see have actually brought down or pulled them down with this this particular grade or the lower grades so while your answer will have to be unique to your satisfaction your answer will have to be unique to your situation and your truth so truth 
prevails and you should make utmost effort to make it as it is to look like as it is here are some comparisons let's try and understand few comparisons laid down for all of you which clearly explains what could be the possible good answers to this and what could be answers which you can strictly avoid so let's come to the first first reason leading to low grade i'll i'll give you both good answers and and avoidable answers lack of focus in particular year or lack of interest in degree if this is what you have identified as one of your core parameter or a core point that that has pulled you down in terms of grades then the good answer could be i gave the course my all but could have avoided some distractions i face some pitfalls in the beginning which i learn to handle eventually if you are saying something of this then perhaps you are actually taking control of the situation that's what i said taking control of situation and what could be the bad answer for the same question in case if you have identified lack of focus in particular year or lack of interest in particular in that degree that you are pursuing or that you have pursued i decided that the degree wasn't for me and lost interest in the course i found better things to devote time to or i didn't enjoy the work involved if anything of this sort comes up then i think it has to be avoided please do not think in this line so i'm giving you both the perspective as to what you should think first and what you should avoid thinking if you think that your second point if you have identified well is issues with grading curve in university college for example you might have done good in 10th and suddenly you have come down drastically in 12th which normally happens 10th is always good for most of the students and 12th is something which is Uh, slightly lesser than 10th so that becomes an area of concern to be explained the right answer could be while it might not sound high my performance is actually in the top percentile in my university right this could be the better way to option and what is the avoidable answer my university wasn't fair in its evaluation i could have scored more i i could have secured more if i was in some other university i could have been in the top 5 this is something which is self claim self proclamation self boosting which should be avoided if you have identified the third let's let's discuss the third point also in case if you have identified that pursued other opportunities like business or hobbies in case if you have done it then what could be the right answer or a positive answer while i couldn't performed to the best of my abilities academically i used my time in a different activity to ensure i'm still developing important skills so if you are let's say divulging from your core topic to learning any other skills as substitute in your same time i think it's a good way to talk about and what should be the answers you should avoid is my hobbies took up all my time so i couldn't study i felt that my business was more important than academics if you are stating something of this you are shutting the doors permanently so mind you what to choose when it comes to identifying the right parameters the points that possibly have pulled you down and choose always the right answers against the avoidable answers more so okay if your point identified as personal loss or a trauma or unavoidable incident which might be the case with many so what could be the possible good answer that you should state is during the period i was dealing with a personal loss and provide that context of what is that loss you need to define it or you can put it subtly despite the loss i tried my best to keep up with the academic workload and go on and explain that loss that you have incurred okay now this could be the the best possible answer what could be the avoidable answer my personal loss held me back else my grades would have been much higher now if you are doing something of this as an answer then i think you are making yourself disqualify permanently so uh, i have clearly stated as of now and it must have been established with all of you that 
this is how you should be answering a question in case if you face and the question is why low grades in your academics so your answer should showcase humility what kind of a person you are and you are grounded you are human and you accept everything that you have heard and get accountable for to err is human the ability to change is yes there are forceful situation which has made you to score maybe less for the time being but you are adapting yourself and you understand the conscious change and you are trying best effort to bring into you and maybe change with time and the genuine interest in academics nobody can can say that hard skills or technical skills or domain knowledge can ever be replaced they can never be replaced and we should not undermine the importance of our academics whatever that you have learned i think you need to bring about all the relevance all the learning all the outcome to the core when it comes to giving it back in the interview so be ready with all this genuineness because that's exactly what you need to succeed when you are going to a particular college to any good college to an autonomous university to iim anywhere i think this holds true for many students and that's what the interviewers are actually looking for if you are giving them a logical answer to any question that you have said and that is what perhaps you need to spell it out so i hope when uh, there are plenty of students coming to me and asking for how to counter a question like low grades in an interview or low grades in, in the academics i think now you should be best prepared if if that is the case then here you are prepare now to the best of your ability thank you